fear of the Lord is a heart attitude. When we talk about the fear of the Lord or fear towards God, uh, the question many of us may have in our hearts is, um, is God expecting us to have an emotion of fear toward Him where He, or he does not want us to approach Him? Well, we know very clearly that this is not uh, uh, who God is. This is not the nature of God. No, God uh, is someone who has demonstrated His love through Jesus Christ and He has accepted us. He has embraced us uh, and He's a loving God. So He does not want to put us out of His presence. And so the fear of the Lord is, is not uh, being afraid of God to the extent that we don't approach Him, but it means for us to relate with God uh, with the right attitude, uh, to approach God with awe and reverence. Proverbs 19 and verse 23, the fear of the Lord leads to life and he who has it will abide in satisfaction. He will not be visited with evil. So we're told that uh, when we walk with integrity before God, when we walk with, with reverence toward God in every area of our lives, you know, when we, we, we uh, graduate from school, we have knowledge of uh, uh, every skill that could get us a job, but nobody teaches us the fear of the Lord. And here scriptures are telling us that if we walk in the fear of the Lord, you know, it leads to life. It, it gives us satisfaction. And so another ingredient that we need to have or another um, uh, experience that we need to have is in the area of walking in the fear of God, which will bring us that success and prosperity in God that God intends for us to have. Uh, and the worship that we offer unto God, when you look at the life of Abel, uh, you don't read too much about uh, Abel, Cain's brother, but in Hebrews 11, you, you read of the fact that he offered to God a sacrifice and, and that blessed God's heart to an extent where it is recorded uh, in the Bible and God never for, uh, you know, forgot that worship or that offering because it was done by faith uh, and even today as we think about relating to God with this right attitude of uh, coming before him with honor let's know that all that we think all that we do um, all, all that we we bring before God you know it, it's really worship uh, and it needs to be brought with with the heart of the fear of God in fact Isaiah 29 23 it says that this is the true worship. God receives a worship which is honoring unto Him. God receives a worship uh, that we bring to Him with awe uh, and reverence. Uh, and and I, I believe we, we live in a time where, where uh, you know, we, this generation, we prefer things uh, very like toned down and casual uh, many times, which is not wrong, but everything has its place. Uh, but when it comes to our relationship with God, yes, He is a friend. Yes, uh, He's someone that, that we, we can relate with so easily. He accepts us um, as we are. But at the same time, you know, we must never forget the fact that He is Almighty God. He is the creator uh, of, the, of the universe. And above all, He is that loving Savior who sacrificed His life for us. Uh, and how much more uh, you know, we need to approach Him with this awe and reverence uh, to, to make our life a worship and an offering unto the Lord. Shall we pray together? Heavenly Father, we, we thank you for who you are. We thank you, Lord, for this blessed opportunity of, of being your children, O oh God, uh, by accepting the work of Jesus on the cross. And God, this day, Lord, we ask that your, the, we, you will enable us, O oh God, to walk in the fear of God so that, Lord, we can make our way prosperous. Thank you, God, that uh, living with the fear of God will lead us into life. Yes, God, Father, I pray and speak and declare, Lord, your abundance abundant life over the people, O oh God. Father, every work of the enemy which is holding them back, which is a hindrance, Lord, I pray that it be broken off of them in Jesus' name. Lord, all, all, the, all the delays that people are facing, uh, Lord, the opposition that's coming from the evil one, Father, we cancel it in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that each one, O oh God, each one will experience, uh, Lord, your mighty grace uh, and God, uh, enable us to glorify you, O oh God. Father, we give you thanks and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.